I'm just waiting for the plane to go over our head. We're on a flight path. You know, Novak, North Adelaide is meant to be very prime real estate, very expensive, yet we've got a flight path over our roof. This is a hey, welcome to Adelaide, my friend. Great to have you back here. Thank you. Great to be here. Thank you, guys. It's, it's really uh, it's the first time that I'm doing a, a radio show and I'm, I'm actually looking at the host, but I'm not with him in the studio. It's uh, quite a unique setting. How's quarantine life going? Well, it, it's... Uh, it's a unique experience, you know, I've, I've never experienced something like this before, but uh, it's great. I mean, I can't complain. I, I'm really, I'm really pleased to be in Australia. I've had um, a great welcoming here by people um, and I had an amazing experience in Melbourne over the last 15 years mm. and, and also in Adelaide back in 2007. You remember that, right? Wow. I do, mate. Yeah. Novak, there we are. Now, this is, uh, what, 14 years ago, probably to the day. Now, yeah. I, I think you were what, probably 18, and that was your, your third ATP tournament win. Yes, yes, I do remember that very well. I, I, I used to work with a uh, Serbian-Australian tennis coach um, who, uh, whose name is Dan Petrovic, and yes. he was yeah. actually born in Adelaide. So, yeah, I remember. Um, I think my first trip to Australia was actually here, in mm -hmm. Adelaide. And... Uh, Actually, I drove my first car ever here, uh, somewhere outside of Adelaide on the opposite side. Well, oh, for wow. you guys, not the opposite side, but for me. <laughs> One of the pickup trucks somewhere in the desert. I don't know where they are, but uh, was, uh, I, when I saw a car coming at me, uh, I, was, I was literally shaken <laughs> to death. And uh, that, was, that was actually the first time I learned how to drive a car. So wow. I, I have some great connection here to, to, to Adelaide in this part of Australia. Novak, I've got to ask, do you actually remember my friend Soda here in this picture? Because he claims that you are best friends. Best friends. Stop best it. Best friends, 14 years. Oh. Yeah, 14 years we met. 14 years, yeah. It's, yeah we, we, we go back a long time. I, I don't see much hair on him these days. No! Yeah. <laughs> it's thinning out. It's a little darker. He puts a nice um, rinse through it. Uh, Novak, my, my most vivid memory of, of watching you when you were there was, I, I know it was probably about, I think, semi-final day, and it was pouring rain, and you were just a young man, and we know you're a great showman, but I remember you came into everyone and you said, it's raining, people have paid money for tickets, we need to entertain them. Yes, we played some golf, I remember, with tennis balls, right? Yes, and yeah. getting them into the crowd. Getting them into the crowd, yes. Well, you know, we, we are, as athletes, we're also entertainers, you know. We, yeah. this is, you know, people come to watch us play, and they, they want to have a good time. They want to have, you know, um, great performance, but at the same time, they, you know, they want to go back with some great impressions and, and, and uh they they want to they want to talk stories about that experience and being on the tennis court. Mm. So I'm very much aware of that, and I, you know I try to give back as, as much as I possibly can. Yeah, I need to ask because we did have a bet going that yeah. you know I would see Serena because Serena's my best friend. Now that you've spoken to Soda, <laughs> I've lost a bet, Novak. So no, that's um, boys versus girls, uh, right? Uh, so uh, I'll try to reach out to Serena and tell her that she's got to reach out to you. Yeah, so because we met probably about oh, seven years ago now. Uh, we met doing a burly bra photo really? shoot. So it was a very different way to meet somebody you know, just in your bra. But we met, and I think we made a real connection. I think we're going to see her again. Well, Novak, Erin um, said to me when Serena moved in, she goes, I need to catch up because last time we had our boobs out together. <laughs> <laughs> she wants to relive the moment. We've got the picture. This oh. is to confirm my friendship with Serena. There you go. Yes. What do you think? Okay, there's the proof. There's the evidence. Well, evidence is evidence. Absolutely. It is. It is true. Yeah. That's okay. Fair. We need to get and that. Now, there you go. Evidence. That was a nice one. Actually, I do remember. I think I've, I've, I've seen it on the TV, right? It was about yeah. five years ago or something. Yes. The uh, girls did a, a campaign yes. together. Yeah. That's nice. Yeah, that's really nice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can hold it right there. I, I, I'm enjoying the view. Uh, I haven't seen Serena, which is weird, you know, mm. because, you know, we, we're staying in the same hotel, but... Uh, we haven't seen each other because obviously because of the you know the restrictions every floor is isolated and yep. i only see people from my team but you know i, I know she's here i know she's training yep um well, well i'll send her i'll shoot her a message and, and you know hopefully. maybe hopefully he, she can reach out to you guys <laughs> I'm so glad that we won the bet because oh, I don't know if you've noticed the last few days we've had um, 
people singing. One of our friends, Tom, was singing. We spoke to Killer and Simona, because obviously Darren Kale's a good Adelaide boy. Um, we've had dancers out the front. We've been sitting on the roof, and she couldn't get Serena, so I thought, you know what, I need to step in Novak and bring back our friendship to rub it into Erin so she understands. <laughs> well, thank you guys for um, making our stay extra special here. You know, obviously, this is where I stay. That's my balcony, and yep. uh, you yep. guys are... You guys are the first thing I see is in, uh, in morning hours, and uh, it was very nice of you to put a banner out and, and give us welcoming to your neighborhood, and also this wonderful painting on the side. It's, it's uh, something that is really nice, and you just told me an hour ago that it's for charity, right? Yeah. yeah. So the artists, yeah. the two artists that did do this painting, Novak, they started this at 4.30 this morning and finished it at about 8.30 this morning for you. So they wow. were up early. It looks fantastic, doesn't it? Are you happy with it? I'm very happy with it. I think it's a, it's a great roar, even though I, I don't like looking at myself, you know, I don't like my own paintings, but I, I let everybody else judge, but it looks it looks powerful, it looks cool. Yeah. Well, Novak, uh, Mark Lobert and Candace Thomas, they're South Australian artists, and we needed someone to capture you beautifully, I think, in your moment with all of your passion. Mm. Um, yeah. So you, you think they've done that well? It, it depicts, it depicts uh, the, the moment on the court perfectly, I think. I mean, that's maybe one of the, the best on court. Uh, passion like paintings I've ever seen so uh, kudos to them thank you so much yeah, it's beautiful um, and Novak what we're actually doing is um, Alex from the the hotel there Majestic she said that what she'd love to do is once that you you're finished and you've played your match here on the 29th she's going to donate your room to whoever buys this for charity and then they can then take the painting and they can put it in your room and they get to sleep with Novak Djokovic in your bed. Mm. <laughs> um, do you like Australian rules football? I, I do love it. I actually, I talked with my coach. Uh, I, I do love it. I, I, I only watch it on the TV so far. I really have a, I really have a wish to, to see it live. Uh, every time we, we come for tennis, it's yeah. summertime and uh, the AFL is not happening. Uh, but I, 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 hope, I hope that one day I'll, I'll be able to see it live. Tennis, did you ever try uh, to play tennis? Did you ever grab a racket? Yeah, I did. I played tennis actually right up until I was about 12 or 13. And then I think this is the team sport. It's what drew me into play basketball. But I, I loved uh, playing tennis. I played at the um, Ivan Gulagon Academy and um, met her and I thought she was absolutely wonderful. But yeah, I ended up just choosing basketball. But would have been in those sweets. Can you imagine? imagine yeah, bas basketball is um, is a big sport in Serbia. Actually, mm. it's, it's probably our number one national sport. Uh, both both men men and women. I mean, they they're doing so well in volleyball. We we are we are a nation of, of team sports, and tennis yeah. only became popular and successful in the last probably 15 years. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, for for our small country to to have that much success also in basketball is quite quite amazing. I, I'm, I've been an avid follower of basketball uh, all my life. Yep. So uh, so I mean, it's credit to you. I mean, yeah. for, for I mean, I've been always very intrigued by by that sport change and you know, yeah. kind of what motivates and inspires people to do that. Because myself, I um, I grew up skiing a lot, and my, my father was a, was a pro skier. I grew up on the mountain. That's where I actually started playing tennis when I was yep. four or five years old. And uh, I, I did a few races and competitions uh, when I was nine, ten. And uh, I chose to play tennis, which was not a bad decision. Yeah. But, uh, but I, I, I kind of always dreamed of doing a race um, as a skier. I mean, it's n never say never, wow. but you know, yeah. I've always, I always kind of um, was inspired and admired people who who did that change and also became very successful in that other sport. So uh, that's amazing. Well, our season starts not this weekend, the next weekend, the thirtieth. So if you have your TV on, we will be playing here in Adelaide. Yeah. The first weekend in February. So you'll, if you're you'll around... Be, you'll be in Melbourne at the Australian Open. Well, there you go. You'll be able to watch it on TV. We're I will watch it on TV for sure. We're I'll, I'll cheer you on. We're coming along to the Australian Open. So we'll, um, we'll have to come and see you there. Now, Novak, I know because you have been here before with your original coach and that you said once you can come out of quarantine, is there anything in particular from Adelaide food, drink-wise, that you like that perhaps we can organise? Because we're going to bring this down on the Friday and we'll auction it there. But do you need anything from uh, Adelaide White? Just freedom. Just yeah. freedom. <laughs> <laughs> the first thing I'm going to do on uh, Friday morning, I'm just going to run straight to this park and I'm just going to 
just going to spend an hour there. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. Oh. I, I miss it. I miss, I miss being free, being able to walk around. And uh, I haven't been to Adelaide in, in many years. Yeah. So uh, if I get a chance, I'll, I'll probably probably go around. Uh, I know there's, there's quite a few people from my part of the world, from Balkans here. And uh, actually, the gentleman right there in the red shirt next to the car is, 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 uh, is from Serbia. I, I, I've known him for 15 years. So... Yeah. Uh, it was very nice. It was quite a few kids with families coming these days, in front of the balcony, playing tennis, and you know, from my country and and also uh, and also from Australia. It's, it's been it's been honestly, it's been uh, a wonderful experience so far for me here, yeah. being in a quarantine. Uh, it's been different, obviously. You know, yeah. uh, no one no one likes to be locked up in a room for 14 days, but yeah. at the same time, we've we've been very fortunate uh, comparing to. The guys in in Melbourne, mm -hmm. well, we've been getting getting more hours, uh, you know, outside and on the court, and and having a balcony and some fresh air, and so I can't I can't complain. You know, I really love Australia. I, I love being here. It's, it's it's a country of of sports in general. I mean, I, I think uh, people in Australia are some of the fittest people I've seen on the planet, to be honest. You know, especially the ones that are involved in sports and. You know the amount of passion and 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 love for the sport is, is quite impressive. And each each year that I've been coming back here, I've been experiencing that to its fullest. So uh, I I can't I can't wait to go out and uh, and start competing in front of the Aussie crowd.